So this story goes back to my teenage years, young and dumb teenage years, and my mom had had enough of my shenanigans, so I was living up in our hometown of Gary, Indiana, and my aunt had lived up in Gary, so I was staying with my aunt, that's where the story begins, we start off in Gary, she ended up getting a um, her job was in a city called Portage, so um, during my stay up there, we ended up moving to a city called Portage, so I'm in Portage, 16, going to Portage High School. Uh, MySpace was the craze back then, MySpace was the Facebook, MySpace was the Instagram, MySpace is how you communicated with everyone, so I was on MySpace heavy, and I was, you know, I had my little friends or whatever, and some of my friends at the high school that I attended have friends in Gary or whatnot, and I have friends in Gary, so that's how everything got started and cross-communicated, so I ended up, I ended up falling for this guy, and I'm not sure if you're supposed to, like, give him fake names or anything, but his name was Ricky, his name was Ricky, his name was Ricky, and Ricky was so cute, and me and Ricky had one main thing in common, we ran track together, so, well, we're not together, he ran track at a school in Gary, I ran track at Portage, and my family is not the type to take any 16-year-old child to go see anybody, so we just exchanged messages all the time, we stayed on the phone, like, 24-7, and it was just crazy, so, anyway, long story short, we ended up getting together because my one of my good friends they went to church together and that's how we got tight on myspace or whatever so we ended up signing up for the chicago march of dimes long story short we're at the march of dimes the march of dimes was in chicago so my friend had the parents that would take you wherever you wanted to go so we ended up in gary we were at the church, rode the church bus to Chicago, went to the March of Dimes, and it was everything. We were holding hands, we did all the things, and I really thought I was gonna marry this man, y'all. So we said our goodbyes or whatever, ended up back in Portage, and I'm on MySpace, trying to reach out to him, trying to call him. This man does not, well, this boy does not answer my calls. He's not answering my MySpace messages. I'm like, what is going on? I ended up seeing this new MySpace photo and it was of him at this track meet and he was with this other chick and oh my god I really lost my stuff y'all like I was in the living room the computer setup was in the living room and I was in there bawling like I was having a fit and all I can remember is my auntie came in there and I cannot remember what she said verbatim but she was like why in the hell are you crying over this boy like you are 16 years old you got plenty of time to worry about some boys like I don't understand why you were with some boys like get over it and she just had me straighten all the way up like she got me all the way together and that's all I can remember about that situation and I learned so much just from that interaction like I really appreciate that I tell my kids all the time I try to be the person person that I wish I had and my auntie was that person I needed in that time and speaking of my auntie what brings me to that is that she used to fix this delicious recipe salmon croquette I got this recipe from you auntie so shout out to you for teaching me strength and teaching me a recipe that I instill in my family every day like we do not stand for the bull we got stuff to do and it is not that and some tasty salmon croquette or salmon patties for those who can't say croquettes uh, shout out to my auntie I just wanted to give you your flowers and let you know I heard you it wasn't for nothing at all I heard you and I just strive every day to be that same woman that you were for me. I strive to be that same woman for my kids. If you want to hear more stories like this, make sure that you follow along. Check out my podcast, Millennial Misfits, on wherever you get your podcasts. And make sure you follow me, Soul by Shamir. That's Soul X Shamir everywhere. All right, y'all. Bye.